What is up my sweet beans? How are you all doing? And welcome back to From the Depths where we are about to be hammered. Uh, we weren't hammered. Very good. How the hell are you all doing in this horrible nasty summer? Currently we are on the latest update that has came out, what, two days ago? And we just started off today where we left off last time where we had these, these, these guys over here coming towards us. So the update has done many changes when it comes to the lasers. They've had an absolute total um, overhaul. What is up with our detection? Uh, things, things, okay, yeah, things are okay. So yes, the lasers have had quite a bit of an overhaul indeed. Um, which means I need to tweak up our carrier before bringing it in today. So today we're going to be using the carrier and the bombers with it. Obviously, you know, getting that mobile fuel refinery, you know, supplying our fleets. But these guys don't seem to pose any threat whatsoever. <laughs> it's like they're fly swatting right now. Not fly swatting, mosquito swapping. Swapping? Swatting! Jeevers! The heat! I can't even speak right today. So hopefully there isn't a lot of hiss on the mic because I do have a fan a couple of feet away from my head. So hopefully we don't get too much hiss coming onto the mic. But there we go. It looks like this has been cleared up. So what I'm going to do is off camera, um, I'm going to probably just farm up the materials. If there's any decent battles going on, then I'll bring guys in for that. Um, but you know, if it's just, you know, random small attacks, then I'll just keep them off camera and bring you guys in once we have the carrier and the bombers uh, all uh, out and ready to go and do some horrible stuff to the Onyx. Watch. And there we go. Biobos. Alrighty, so our first battle with the carrier is uh, on. So it took me a while to get all the resources and all that good stuff. There's a couple of, you know, a couple of little farty things coming down like these guys that we're up against right now. Um, but yeah, nothing special happened really. I mean, just a couple of boarding stuff, you know. It was, it was slow for me to do the whole boarding thing, bits and pieces, trying to get everything, you know. Um at a high percentage really just so we can get them the materials but here we are there they are this is that those are these um our carrier i did spawn him a little bit too far i guess but well well um we have the awesome torpedoes coming in the carriers seem to probably be gonna have a couple of issues as they do have aps against them so that might be a thing. Yeah. It definitely, definitely should invest in some shields for our bombers. But as you can see, that is the breadboard magic in action there. Diving, packing, and uh, cramming. I did set one of the cram uh, bomb shoots. I set it up on a small delay just to spread the uh, the shells out. But well, not really spread. Mostly trying to destroy the section that you know one of the crams would have hit, and so hopefully the other cram shell would fall through that and carry on doing some some mess rather than they both um, exploding on the same thing or, or close to the same thing. Um, our lambs, well, not our lambs, our lasers. As you know, you know, we've had the uh, we've had the update, and uh, when I loaded up, you know, the the lasers, the damage it was looking very low. So what I did was um, previously I, I already had a delay on our fire pieces of the of the lasers. I think it was about 0 0.4, 0 0.7, and now what I've done was I put them on a 0 0.9, and uh, they were on a 4Q, and now they're on a 2Q, so now they're doing the exact same thing as they were before, pretty much. I mean, with the laser update, I guess, you know, you 
can decrease the size of your engine giving you that space and that space you can invest it back into the lasers pretty much and you can get back on track as to where you were I mean it does have a, a, a number of other advantages as well I mean now um, the length of the the barrel itself isn't going to do any difference to the accuracy we, we've always got a 0 0.05 I believe there um, I could be wrong but I think it's 0 0.05 or 0 0.5 um, so that's that I mean then there's other other bits you know versus smoke and all that good stuff and if there's a lot of range like we have right now our lasers are pretty much not going to be doing that much damage if they're doing any damage at all from this range because the range is also affecting or decreasing our um, damage on the lasers so yeah I mean I think it's it's pretty much uh, balanced to be honest um, previously I kind of saw lasers a little bit too overpowering a little bit and anyway at the same time these lasers are mainly for anything that comes in close range on our carrier um, the lambs they haven't touched the lambs but they seem to be doing okay they seem to be doing their job and again you know if we use like a continuous lamb system for smaller um, shells like on APS I think that is uh, it's much more beneficial to have that rather than like a 4Q for um, small APS and you'd use you know your 4Q versus like high you know large large gauge stuff like crams and all that oh Jesus this guy he is getting hammered I think this might no no fair enough fair enough good boy carry on keep on putting holes and things and what why, why did I cram just bounce off <laughs> no how did it bounce off a sail Jesus but yeah um, I'm pretty pleased I am pretty pleased with with the way the carrier is you know working and the way our bombers are, are diving as well because I was having a couple of issues uh, previously with them you know there's a couple of uh, breadboard issues with the PID so that was causing a couple of confusion for me as to why things are sort of like working and then not working but that has been sorted out with this update now I mean like every update things are just you know they're just improving all the time all the time and there's one thing I forgot to put on this is repair bots so I have to invest in some repair bots on that I did increase our um, storage uh, material storage as well I put a large container on might end up putting two not too sure yet considering you know we have these bombers they're gonna get damaged they're gonna get hit they're gonna be needing to to get repaired I mean we have set up some ACBs to control these things like if there's a certain amount of damage on the bombers then they will redock and wait until um, they're at a percentage of health to undock again I also set up the bombers that if there is a flyer so if you know if the target is like above 20 then they won't do the whole diving thing they'd, they'd stay hopefully at their their altitude but I think what I'm gonna do is just tweak it a little bit further and tell them to like um, oh dear oh dear um, to always be like 50 50 meters above any you know any flyer pretty much because they can use their packs their packs you know they use them really really well on flyers well like flyers like the Erie because I did try try things out on the Erie and looks like our torpedoes are just making it here I did increase the size of our torpedoes and our missiles uh, I'm gonna show you that I think we can show you that right now because this guy his is had it <laughs> his had it is is going nowhere that's that um, so we pretty much won this one so what I've done with the torpedoes and the missiles I have increased their size quite a bit to be honest Ooh, we've got that thing in the, in the selection there um, let's have a look so I've increased their size um, I had a comment on the previous upload and saying like you know you should use pretty much like five explosive warheads uh, and the sonar the sonar I don't really like the sonar that much so I stayed with the you know the remote guidance and a thump ahead don't know why I'm using target prediction but, uh, but there it is <laughs> and those are those so that's you know what we're going with for the torpedoes the misly the misly are nice and <laughs> probably a bit of an exaggeration here um, but that's the missiles uh, they got a, an increasing angle as well, so like from 10 and then it goes up to, what, 90, 
as you can see on the tooltip there. Um, that's the lifetime. I increased their, their speed so you know the thrust duration and lifetime match. Uh, pretty much done the same with the torpedoes as well. So those are those good things waiting for the for the silly enemy to come by. Oh dear, we have a silly bomber. <laughs> what happened to you, you nub? You got hit in the backside. Seriously, man. I like why? Why do you do this to me? He was he was gone. He was like dead, and you still managed to get hit in the butt. Isn't good. Anyway, this is this one done. Let's go and uh, see what more trouble we're gonna get into. Okay, next fight. These guys actually took a tile from us, so we're taking it back. So it's just very small, small little party force. <laughs> they had it already, so that's that. <laughs> we can say, we've won. Where are you shooting? I mean, you definitely, if you keep shooting like that, we have totally won. Oh god, you got the APS in this. Yeah. Really, really should. After this, after this playthrough, I think I'm gonna slap on some shields for our, for our bombers. So yes, the game is running pretty, pretty damn smooth. I mean, that thing is massive, and you know, I can't bring up my the the FPS thingy uh, today for some reason. So I have to see what's up with that. But the game's running really smooth with the volume that we have in play. Love it, love it, love the bombering, the bombering of the Cranmiths. <laughs> Good stuff. Just don't get shot in the ass, please. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, they had a, they had a, they had a go at this one as well, eh? Very good. So, what is happening over here? Um, over here, things are going okay. Looks like we're keeping up with the torpedoes because I haven't increased the ammo. Um, I just, you know, pretty much increased the size of the torps and the missiles there. But this guy, oh my god, this guy is gone already. Well, fair enough. <laughs> this poor little thing is left. Really? You really? You're missing it by an inch! Seriously, man! We have to, what, stuff in a couple more finnies, perhaps. Excellent, excellent. I mean, there you can see um, the laser there in action. I mean, I did give it a couple of hits, but I believe it's probably shooting at something under, yeah. I would really love to have something to say, look, you know, don't shoot anything under the water level. On fire pieces, perhaps you know that would be pretty damn neat. I don't know. You can, guys can tell me in the box, in the down there. Oh, good lord, man! Where did you get your bloody license from? Was that little on the discounts? Seriously, <laughs> it was the end of the fight. Jesus. Oh well. Alrighty, so for this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit stupid. <laughs> And we're going to be going up against uh, a couple of actual uh, flyers of the Deepwater Guard. Uh, we have one more, a one Conga and the Merlin. The Merlin. And I think we're going to get our asses handed to us, to be honest, because that is a lot of APS. And we don't really have that much in terms of defense versus APS. My god, look at all that frags. Who oh dear. But I did want you guys to see the, the Mislees in action. Well, not that they're going to make craters or anything, but the idea is pretty much we just want to knock things out of the sky into the water for our bombers and the torpedoes to get, you know, to take care of, really. That's the pretty that's the idea behind the missiles. Um, I think I forgot to set their max range. I think us. I think I think us. Uh, well, by the time our bombers get to there, let's go and have a quick look over here. How is things, are things holding up? Over hither. So it looks like our Yeah, our missile lambs, the ones are these are the blue ones. They're looking up things by the looks of it. Um we don't have that much damage. Pretty much scratched the paint so far. Alright, it looks like our bombers have Well, they've uh, decided to bomb the what's that? The Congo? The Marlin. The Marlin! Bro, the Marlin! <laughs> but yeah, it looks like, you know, um, things are going well. Uh, those are our Miss Lees coming in, so we do have the range on them. We got. How, how long is that? Oh my god, we're like 2k away, and these missiles are. Yep, yeah, that's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good for the range there. I uh, don't know where they're going now. 
I see. Fair enough. So those are those. Yeah, I mean, the battles, they're going pretty damn smooth. I mean, okay, fair enough, we are in degraded mode, but Jesus, you know, I mean, that's quite a bit of volume going on right now. Uh, our bombers are over there. Looks like damage on our side seems pretty low. I still haven't added any, any repair, but so I'm going to be doing that, you know, after this playthrough. Um, probably seeing about where we should put some shielding. I haven't even, the, the deck is still only one metal uh, thick. So I have to sort that out. I mean, there's a lot of eye candy as well left to do on, on the carrier and the interior stuff as well. But yeah, I mean, it looks like we're okay for defense, I guess. Against you know most things all right we have zero laser defense but you know i have to wait and see how um how the faction i forgot their name that has all the lasers how this is going to affect us with the with this new laser update the way we are currently i mean we are about what three meters thick in most parts if not all parts um being what is a light alloy metal and then heavy armor or we probably have um, metal metal and then heavy armor pretty much all over the place but it is a bit of a slow battle isn't it it is pretty damn slow um, in getting things sorted there goes our bombers getting getting their thing together that's it very good Still launched a couple of crams at them, so that's a good thing. I don't think crams will actually hit. Um, yeah, 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 yep, they hit. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. So, yes, remember if you have liked what you're seeing, please smash that like and subscribe button. Like that with your money. It really helps me out to know, you know, that you, you good people are actually enjoying it and that I'm doing something good or, or <laughs> something decent. And if I'm not, please obviously, you know, let me know in the box in the down there. Always, always want your, your suggestions and, and all that good stuff as to how to improve, you know, the, the, um, the uploads themselves, you know, as well as the construct. There is one thing that I am worried about. If a flyer flies over our carrier and a bomber is about to bomb that flyer, <laughs> I think we're going to end up with a massive hole somewhere. Uh, there is that to look forward to when that happens. But yeah, this one is pretty a pretty slow battle, isn't it? And these things are actually pretty damn sturdy they are staying in the air we I mean they've taken quite a beating and they are still in the air so the whole idea of me knocking things out of the sky for our torpedoes and for our bombers to take care of isn't really working is it <laughs> it's not really working see our lasers they are doing damage right well, not really. I guess we're still a bit too far. I think, yeah. I mean, we're about one, one, 1,500 meters away. I guess we're a little bit too far for our lasers to actually really be helping us out. So, oh, that is that. We might have to increase the, um, the optics length. But, you know, I don't want to have any noodles sticking out the side of the, of the um, carrier. I mean, as, it, as they are right now, to me, in terms of looks, they are too long. They're too long. There's not even one attached on this one. Um, I think this one's a full size. So to me, that on on this craft that looks too long already for me. So I mean, I'm I'm juggling eye candy and functionality. So the, the idea is to keep the carrier, you know, at a at a distance itself. It does have um, the the broadside is is pretty uh, pretty wide on that. I think it's about 1,005, pretty much. It is 1,005, the broadside on that, so... Yeah. I mean, they are meant for close, uh, close, you know, things that get close, really. I mean, itself is not supposed to be the one that's doing all the damage. It's supposed to be the, the, the bleeding bombers doing the damage, but I mean, fair enough, we did go against, you know, three, um... 
air targets here so but I am enjoying the way they are diving down like that that is awesome that is just awesome I'm really loving that I was also trying to utilize the speed as they come down because the speed accelerates just a little bit for the for the crams as well as um, I believe the velocity of the cram you know if your construct is going fast enough that it adds to the velocity of the cram but not that much but it's going to help a little bit I believe but correct me if I am wrong in the box in the down there let's see what we're going to be doing next Alrighty, so for our next battle, we're going to be going up against an angler, a chancellor, and what do we have over here? Warrior? One of those? One of these? So that is that. I'm going to set these guys up and I'll bring you guys back once we're in. Alrighty, so here we go. We've brought everything with us, I think. Um, did everything come with us? Perhaps we don't have the... Yeah, we don't have the, the flagship up there. But we've pretty much got everything in. Let's see how things are going to go. So we have our little boaty over here. We have the sub somewhere around there. Yeah, they didn't even have that to come in for. I'm pretty sure I dragged the whole thing to the max. I mean, that is a lot of volume in play. We, we're not even, you know, we haven't even hit the grade mode, so... That is pretty damn sweet. It's like this guy has a bit of a lisp. <laughs> a lisp. That is pretty damn fast for sales, though, isn't it? Well, it does have a couple of props there, I guess. Excellent stuff. So it looks like everyone is picking on this guy in the front here. Mind you, our bombers have decided to go somewhere around here. <laughs> Fair enough. As long as you're killing stuff, I don't mind. Just don't hit the water at the same time. Okay, now we've hit degraded mode, but yeah, well, what can you do? You didn't fire your pack? Naughty. <laughs> that one didn't fire anything. <laughs> really now. Oh well. Over here, how are things looking? I don't think we're taking that much damage, if we're taking any damage, that is. Looks like he's lost one of his masts. A little booty here. Don't know what it's trying to aim at. I mean, that is there. Why did you... Yeah. I don't get that. Okay, so he is now too damaged. Very good. Obviously our lasers are going to do sword all against those things at the back there, but you know. Like I said, they're pretty much there just for, for stuff that get, you know, getting close. Also, we're going to be having a steam rework done. Which is, I'm looking forward to that to see how, you know, that is going to play out. Should be happening. I think it might be happening in the next dev test. I'm not too sure. My God, man, what are you? Oh, you were under that thing, weren't you? Yeah, that was our sub over there with the with the little blue pack. But I am liking this style of play. We got our carrier down there with with a mobile refinery on him, and then you know our bombers are reaching out and touching the the enemy. <laughs> so. It's pretty much for the damn bombers. Well, mind you, not just for the damn bombers that I made. The oh, God, don't you dare crash into each other, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much because of the custom jet engines why I, you know, decided to get the whole mobile refinery. But obviously, you know, as everything else is using fuel pretty much, you know, they're going to benefit as well, so. Mobile refinery is quite a decent idea. The question is, how big should you go for a mobile refinery? What sort of efficiency would you look for in a mobile refinery? Would you try to get the max efficiency? Or is there a, you know, sort of like a, a, at least a minimum for you, you know, to, to make a mobile refinery on? Oh dear! What is that with you? Seriously, man! You're not a dolphin! 
but yeah, it the battles are very relaxed. <laughs> These battles have have all been pretty damn chill, to be honest, and a little bit slow as well for for my liking. But you know, our flagship is still out to play. Looks like these two have probably done something stupid. Yep, these guys are being pulled back in for probably repairs. Let's have a look. See you in the inside. Oh my lord, you've been gutted. You two are probably crashed into each other. They've definitely got their license from Bleeding Little on the discount shelf. So yes, the air collision avoidance. I don't know. I don't know about that one, to be honest. So yeah, when they do get damaged like that, they return to the to the carrier and try to get repaired up until I think it's ninety nine percent. Or at least that's how it, I planned it to be. Doesn't look like it's actually working though. So that's something I have to tweak up. Oh Jesus Lord, please do not crash into the into the whole carrier, my god man. Okay, you know, I think it's holding it? You're not holding it? What are you doing? You done? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh god. Yeah, I don't Oh damn. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Well, I'm gonna let you sort yourself out and destroy the whole carrier. I'm gonna come over here and see what the hell is happening over here. Over here we have this dude. He is AI dead. And then we have these two good good things over here. No, oh, this is so small. That is so small. I love I love the style though, this little thing though. That's yeah. I love it. Love it. Our bomber is getting pretty damn close to the water there. So when it is too close, um, the pack might not go off because um, you know we don't have the angle on the target that it's you know trying to look at. You're going for that. Our shippy over here, our booty is also going for that. Little flyers. Our little hornets have been with us since the beginning of the campaign. I haven't made any more of these guys. I really should, you know, make uh, another sub and another two of these because they worked really well together. Really well together. We also do need a new vehicle, but for now I'm going to take a break from the whole building. We're just going to, you know, um, clear up some space. Capture a couple of resource resource uh, points, per positions, places, whatever the hell. <laughs> we're gonna get a couple of them because you know we're gonna be we we are really hurting for resources now. It took me ages to build because uh, we ran out of resources as well. So that was another thing. But over here, it looks like our flyer has decided to obey. To do what it's goddamn told after destroying half of it. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. I'm pretty sure most of the action is happening under the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that nice to see, you know? confetti falling from <laughs> the things the body parts all over the place good stuff very good stuff so yeah remember if you have liked what you've seen please you know smash the like and subscribe button like there your money please you know tell me how, what I can improve on uh, what you'd like to see I'm thinking that I definitely want a melee vehicle I want a melee vehicle and I'm um, thinking about the melee pack 
see how that's going to work out. I haven't used the melee, the melee pack head yet, so I'm looking forward to that. I know uh, there was a comment about, you know, making a flying fortress kind of thing, which, yes, that is still, I'm still looking for images and stuff, you know, to, to get a couple of ideas and inspiration going. But like I said, at the same time, I'm having a little bit of a break from the whole building thing. Uh, that carrier has burnt me out a bit. Excellent. So that is that. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to leave it here for now. So remember, please, you know, leave your comments and all that good stuff in the box, in or down there. So for now, my awesome YouTubians, I'm going to say take care. And I'll catch you all on the next one.